Happy birthday, Sonny. I heard your crush game's been weak, so I had the boys at the local shop hook me up with some distance drivers for you. Thanks, Grandpa. You really didn't have to do this. I said, give me the best drivers only, and they said this was the choice of champions. Wait a minute. They're all destroyers. Grandpa Leroy, you know I only throw Discraft plastic. Maybe that's why you're not a champion yet. What is up YouTube fam, Robbie C here. And whether you are a disc golfer or you're shopping for someone that is a disc golfer, finding them that perfect gift that relates to their fantastic hobby can be so difficult to do. So I wanted to make a quick video that goes over the best items you can get for that super special disc golfer in your life. There's two crowds of people that I hope are gonna be watching this. One is the disc golfer who can approve this list and make sure that most of the items recommended are things you would care for. And if you're part of this group, then likely take this video and share it with group two. If you're in group two, welcome. That means you are probably not a disc golfer and you have a disc golfer that you want to buy something great for. We've got a lot to talk about. So we are going to swallow the big frog first and talk about some of the more pricey items on the list, eventually working our way down to the more manageable items and the stocking stuffers. So what's our first item? Well, you'd be talking about the lap of luxury in disc golf, and that is a cart. In disc golf, we carry our discs in a bag, and when the back gets a little weary, we happen to put our discs in carts. In the early days of disc golf, people converted baby strollers into disc golf carts, but now there's a variety of cart options out there, making it easier to carry the discs, and it also provides a seat for those long and weary rounds. Some carts are more centric like the Zuka carts and others are more push centric like the Rovic carts. The beautiful part about most carts is that most of them are designed to carry and fit any bag that your disc golfer already has in their life. So as long as you don't get a cart that has a bag already built into it, it should work just fine for that special disc golfer you know. Speaking of bags, that's option number two. Just like there is about eight billion types of Nike shoes, there are a ton of bag options out there. Most of the time the disc golfer in your life has a bag, but it's always a great time to move up to some of the more or expensive bags or what we like to call investment bags. There are bags ranging into the $150 and up range and there are bags hovering around the $100 range. These bags are fantastic for any level of disc golfer but they also help equip you for those high levels of disc golf just as well. My personal favorite is the Atlas Pioneer. Coming in under the $100 price range, it holds just as many discs as the $200 bags and still has an immense amount of quality to it. So if you're looking at a bag, make sure you save the receipt but most of the time your disc golfer is going to be pretty happy with it. Going down in our price range is something new to disc golf, but very familiar to golf itself, and that is a range finder. When you're out there on the course, information is key to succeeding, and being able to know how far you are away from the basket that you're trying to reach is paramount to success. There's really only two or three companies in the range finder game, and they do make range finders that are specific to disc golf and measure in feet, rather than the original golf range finder, which measures in yards. Both work, and all you have to do is a little math, but some people get touchy about that. Next up is for the people who are anti-cart life, and want to carry that bag for the rest of eternity. The best option you have for them is a stool. These little stools fold up, and the beauty of the stool is that you don't have to use it every round, but knowing that you can use it every round provides an immense amount of relief for that special disc golfer in your life. Speaking of comfort, there is one thing every disc golfer doesn't know they need, well, until they need it, and that is a high quality umbrella. Having a golf umbrella, or a rather large umbrella, is so helpful. The first time that special disc golfer in your life finds himself heading to the course for or a rain round. And with that umbrella, they're going to need some towels to wipe off those discs. Now there are a ton of towel options out there and lots of people make towels specifically for disc golf, but I can't talk about towels without talking about today's video sponsor, Flight Towel. Flight Towel makes the best towels in the disc golf game. Not only are they fantastic enough towels to wipe off the moisture from your disc, but they also don't pick up the crushed leaves and things like that that a microfiber towel would do while you're out there on the course. The main Flight Towel is a training tool that you can use to help warm up, stay loose, and get some reps in to practice your form. And the fob is cut from an actual disc. But as I said, Flight Towel makes the best towel on the market, and that towel comes in a variety of sizes. The first is a Flight Towel Mini, coming with an elastic band that can grip onto and attach to certain things in your bag, or it can be used as a handle. But if you're looking for something a bit bigger, you get to my favorite Flight Towel product, and that is the Flight Towel Junior. With a hook designed for a carabiner, you can easily clip a Flight Towel Junior to your bag, or do what I do and clip it to your belt loop so that you always have a towel 
on hand. And get this, Flight Towel does even more. Not only do they make the best towels, but they also make some fantastic accessories and apparel for you to grab. Owned by disc golfers and created for disc golfers. So if you want to support what Flight Towel is doing and support this channel, head over to flighttowel.com and use code 128799 and save yourself a little money in this gift giving season. Now at this point in the video, I want to address the elephant in the room about something that you haven't heard me mention yet, and that is discs. In golf, you'll see players take a club to hit a ball. In disc golf, these two items are combined together to make one super sweet disc. The struggle with disc golf is that there's like a billion options out there, and so finding a disc that your disc golfer actually throws can be a really tough thing to do, and we're not even talking about plastic type or weight. There's a lot of variables when it comes to finding that right disc that your disc golfer is going to fall in love with. So if you want my advice, don't be a Grandpa Leroy. You can buy gift cards to online retailers like the ones listed here so that the disc golfer in your life can go buy that special disc that they've been eyeing. Or you can do one of my favorite options, which is reach out to a local artist and get some disc dyeing done. Our discs are made of plastic and the process of disc dyeing is to literally change the color of the plastic using chemicals and other substances. Disc dyeing allows you to take a normal looking disc and turn it into something amazing. And there are so many people who are super good at it. So one of the best things you can do is reach out to a local artist, either on Instagram or Facebook and see if you can work out a deal for them to dye a disc for that disc golfer in your life or get a gift certificate so that that disc golfer can send them one of their discs to have it dyed. Speaking of art, we're starting to get into more of the stocking stuffer part of the video. And one of the things I want to talk about is mini markers. Just like in golf, when your ball is on the green and it's in the way, you put a little quarter or a pin down to mark it on the green so that it doesn't get in the way of other players. In disc golf, sometimes you want to throw the disc that you just threw. So you use a mini marker. You mark where the disc was, pick it up and get ready to throw the disc again from that mini marker position. Mini markers come in a variety of shapes and sizes. You can get some really unique ones that are all metal, or you can get another one that's fully magnetized and can clip onto your bag or your cart. You thought there were a lot of options when it came to buying discs. Just wait until you get into collecting minis. Another item that a lot of disc golfers don't have until they need it is a retriever. We're not perfect. Sometimes we mess up and sometimes we throw our discs in places that they're not supposed to go. A disc golf retriever is usually an extendable pole that can reach out, hook onto the disc or clamp the disc in some form or fashion that you can use to pull it in and bring it back home to its owner once again. I've got three items left and I want to move through them really quickly. Our hands are everything when it comes to playing disc golf and we want to make sure that we can get our best grip possible on the disc and that is where chalk bags come into play. There are bags made with dirt, there are bags made with chalk, and there are bags made to just suck the moisture out of your hand. With all of those options out there, it's just about finding one that either looks really cool or has the kind of powder that you're looking for. Grip bags have a set amount of time that they're going to be useful for, so it's always helpful having one or two extras for that exact moment when the one you've been using runs out of goodies. The last two items are not generic to disc golf, but I promise they're used by every disc golfer out there. The first is a reusable water bottle. We always find ourselves out on the course and it's great to have some hydration waiting for us. So if you're really out of options, feel free to grab a Nalgene or a Hydro Flask. And if you happen to make that a thing that you buy for the loved one in your life every year, great. They're never going to run out of options and they're always going to need another water bottle. And the last are hats and apparel that are related to disc golf in general. There are so many fun puns and things like that that exist in the disc golf world. And we usually have to wear clothing while we're out there in the world. So why not rep this sport that we happen to love so much? You'll find a list of retailers that you can check out if you want to buy a fun shirt or a fun hat for that special disc golfer in your life. All in all, I want to say thank you so much for coming and watching this video. Whether you are in group one and you're a disc golfer, I don't know, maybe you got some extra cash to spend and you're looking for some ideas or you're in group two and you were sent to this video to get some ideas. And for those of you still watching, what are some of your favorite things you would love to receive as a gift that I didn't mention here? I know I didn't include everything because I'm just trying to keep it short and not spend an hour talking about gifts for you guys. I want to thank you so much for coming by and watching this video. And I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I hope you have an amazing holiday season. But for now, I'm going to leave you with the birdie.